G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here, and I thought today I would do an interesting comparison that will help you as you think about what camera strap you should buy. And so there's basically, I think, I think there's only one real option, but that option can be quite pricey. So I want to compare that one real option, which is from Peak Design, with small rigs offering. Now the reason I'm going to compare these two is because a comment that one of my subscribers, that's right, thank you very much, put in one of my videos that asked Small Rig to send me one of these and of course Small Rig haven't, but I wanted to buy it. So I bought it just to do this review and see if the price tag on this, which is, can compete with this, which the price tag is that. Yeah, so much more expensive on the Peak Design and we're going to see which one you should go for. So first of all, small rig comes in and I would say a meter and a half when fully extended. Peak Design, mm, probably a meter 30 when fully extended. So what does that mean? Well, it means when you put it around your neck and you do a sling position, the camera sits further down. It sits just below your hip, which you may or may not want. That's fully extended. It gives you that extra option, especially if you have a really big frame, then the small rig one might give you that extra reach that you're looking for. Whereas Peak Design sits just on your hip bone if you have a torso like mine. Now, when extending, and decreasing the length of the strap. With the small rig, you simply hold the buckle and you pull against the buckle. It's an old way of doing it and that's why I really prefer peak designs. Watch this, they have this little lever. Pull the lever up, you can hold onto the lever. It's just an extra addition of one piece, but gee, it makes that whole process when you're wearing it and you're like, I just need to go a bit longer, a bit shorter. <laughs> How's it going? Let's talk about comfort of the strap, and we can't do that without talking about, say, a Nikon or Canon generic one that comes. If you wear these, they are really thin and they cut into your neck. Um, you've also got to apply them to your camera, which is a bit of a nightmare, which is why we're talking about these different options and why some of you may love this. I can't stand them. I can't stand them, maybe because I'm spoilt because I've been using this for a long time. When it comes to comfort, you have two options with the Peak Design. First of all, you have a nice soft finish. It can wrap around your neck and you can wear it like that for, for days. It's got a soft um, micro compressed fabric finish, which means it doesn't cut. If you had a bit of sunburn, it might not be too comfortable, but obviously when you're wearing a shirt, even with a t-shirt on, not so much a collared shirt, it usually sits more on the material than anything else. But if you want it to stay in place, you simply turn it over. And on the back, you've got this grip option. And the grip option means it's not gonna move. And if you're struggling because your, your camera's moving around, you're like, just want it to stay in the same place, then you can easily flip it around. When you flip it around, what you do lose is the easy access to the buckles, which when you have the smooth side on your neck, the buckles are really, accessible. Small rig, however, have gone the whole hog. They've got this beautiful, like, cushioned, um, air pillowed finish, super comfortable, and they've even molded it so it's the shape so it fits around your neck or around your shoulder with ease and with comfort, and the strap moves through it. If I keep doing that, I'm gonna set fire to myself. Um, so that's really good, but you can't take this off you could probably take it off, but I'm not sure you'd ever get it back on again. So just beware of that. Um, it's it's part of the strap. It does move around and any, operates anywhere between where you have the two buckles located. So let's talk about the anchor points, or as small we call them, rapid release points. There's a couple of differences that you need to know. First of all, they're not interchangeable. You can maybe get by by putting the peak design in the small rig, but it's it doesn't hold, it's not secure. The small rig ones are too fat to go in the peak design. These ones from small rig, the rapid links, they hold up to five kilos of gear. So that's pretty robust, five kilos of gear before you can start to wonder if this is going to hold, but it only fits in one way. All right, now that will make sense when I talk about the anchor points from Peak Design. The anchor points from Peak Design are interchangeable. And where this is helpful is when you have it on your camera 
and you just this spins around twists around and you just need a quick on and off it doesn't matter which way they're facing whereas with your small rig you could potentially be going now oh it's the right it does i gotta pull it round it's just an extra addition it's a little bit annoying in my book now the rapid links from small rig hold five kilos keep that in mind Peak designs hold 90 kilos. You're going out rock climbing, have a bit of an accident, you grab hold of this, it might save your life. Grab hold of this, it won't. I know it's ridiculous, but what this means is it's so well made that you should never ever have to buy replacements one of these because they break or they snap. And they've actually got an indicator that I've never seen, but there's an indicator in here that as that starts to pull out, you see a different color fabric. And when you see the different color fabric, that's when you know you have to claim your lifetime warranty. <laughs> that's when you know you have to claim your lifetime warranty from Peak Design, which is what small rig don't have. So you might get a year's warranty out of the small rig, whereas with Peak Design, you get a lifetime warranty. So this strap, providing you don't mangle it or lose it, should last you an entire lifetime. Whereas the small rig, I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but it's not as um, thick um, and it doesn't feel quite as durable. I really... I really like this. Now this comes in a variety of colors and a variety of sizes. Whereas this one you have the option of a leather or then you can just go the hand mount which puts it around your hands. You can grip like this or a wrist mount which means you can dangle it like this. Same is true for the Peak Design. It gives you a hand which is called a clutch or a wrist which is called a cuff. So with both these straps you can put them in a neck, a sling, or a shoulder configuration quite easily. And that brings me to the point of asking which one should you buy? Well, after watching this, it's a consumer's choice, right? It's your choice. I choose and will continue to choose uh, the Peak Design. I think because of uh, security, and I really like the um, universality of their anchor points that they can flip around. You can buy these attachments and put them on any other strap as well. So that's a nice little bonus. You can also get a bottom of the camera one if you just want to click onto the bottom of your camera rather than the sides. I also, I'm kind of, I like less moving parts. So I prefer this. And when it comes to price, it's like twice as much, but if it's, an investment you're going to make once for a long, long time, and we're talking less than a hundred US dollars. I don't know. I think I'm. I think I'm up for that. But I would love to know what your thoughts are. I know some of you have just used the the um, small rig, and you swear by it. It's amazing, and it is a great product. Let me tell you, it is a great product. And if you just want, if you're not using your camera every day, in fact, heck, if you're using it every day and you just like this setup. Buy this setup, save yourself some good cash, spend it on some good glass. Well, I hope this has been helpful. I realize it's been a bit scrappy. It's the new year. Get into the new year. Yep, firing up again. Had a little break, which has been nice. Uh, got through a backlog of videos. So we're sort of into the new thing. And I hope this has been helpful. Please subscribe. Love to do this journey with you. And if um, you want to join the channel, you can do that just down below. Uh, you want to give us a like or a thumbs up, uh, ring the bell, you know. All that gear, you know by now, surely. If you don't, welcome to YouTube. It's been great that this has been your first video. Thanks so much, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.